Trey Lance working out with Brandon Ayu. That just shows that he's a leader. Yep. But what we talked yep. about four weeks, well, two weeks ago before the draft, you want a quarterback that's a leader. Everybody keeps saying, well, you know, Jimmy G's going to be the bridge. Is he showing he's the bridge? Jimmy G's worrying about, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with Trey Lance, but why are you not working with your rookies before rookie camp? You're why looking you forward to working with Trey Lance. Trey Lance is working right now. Go. Don't look forward to it. Go do it. He's showing that he wants to be the leader. He wants to he take He doesn't have to be told. He doesn't have to be asked. He's 20 years old. Hey, where's, where's my wide receiver? I'm there. And, you know, people say he's a good decision maker. That's a good decision he just made. And yes. decision making is leadership. It's what it is. But you lead by example and not by fear. That's right. That's he right. don't feel leadership. Nope. He did that. He embraces and no it. He's a natural. I mean, think about it. He, he was asked to be another position. He decided to stick at being a quarterback because that's what he was. Yep. So, I mean, yep. we got a good one. Trey Sermon, he didn't just he, he wasn't just a quarterback. He's the third pick in the draft. Look what he manifested. You know, everyone exactly. said you can't play quarterback at the Min University of Minnesota. Oh, really? I'm going to play quarterback in the NFL for Kyle Shanahan. How you like that? I love this kid. I, I'm, I love this I, kid. Yeah, I, I like yeah. his leadership. Picking up Trey Sermon. That was a big pick. Yeah. I mean, he's a bell cow. Yeah. He can be an every down back. What yeah. we ain't had an every down back since Frank Gore. That's right. Carlos Hyde, he wasn't every down back. He was injury prone. And he couldn't read. He couldn't read holes when he hit and the And he hole. gave you nothing as a receiver. Nothing. Exactly. And every time he ran the ball more than 10 yards, this is my impression of Carlos Hyde. Take me out, coach. Take me out, coach. Like, you just ran 10 yards. Stay in the game. Stay exactly. in the game. And, and that's my thing. Is like you picked up two good running backs in the draft that can come in and actually make an impact. You picked up Aaron Banks. Good lineman. Probably can compete with Brunskill at, at guard. No doubt. Day one starter, I would think. Yeah, so, like, you you feel necessary needs to make your offense better, to build a good line for Trey Lance to step in. I mean, I'm just waiting for Jimmy G to, to for them to tell, tell him that he's not starting. Deuces, yeah. I'm, I'm not all the – a lot of people in my group, they're like, well, y'all so hard on Jimmy G. You've been in, the, been in the office for four years. You still don't know the offense all the way through. You had a whole year where you was injured. Why were you not studying the offense? Yeah. I don't understand it. I, you've, you've had personal time with Mike Shanahan, who sat down and gone through tape with you. What? I, you don't have to be a genius to memorize information, man. It's not conceptual. They're not telling you to, like, do math. Memorize these plays. Against cover two, where do you go against with this concept? It's not that hard, man. It's really – you don't have to be super smart. Just – Study. Cohen, it's your Study. job. It's his it's job. job. It's yeah. his job to be the quarterback. If yeah. you ask people, I uh, one of my group uh, administrators asked, who is the leader of this team and what is our identity? Majority people said George Kittle, Fred Warner. That was yeah. a true question. The leader of your team is the quarterback. Yep. That's the end all be all. Your quarterback sets the tone from the beginning of the game to the end. If he has a good game, the defense wants to play aggressive and get the ball back to him. And if the answer is George Kittle or Fred Warner, the correct answer is your team doesn't have a leader. There it is. <laughs> hey, God love Fred Warner for stepping up. Dude, you're not the quarterback. Jimmy's got to do it. And you know what? He ain't. So, Trey, God love you. Thank you for stepping up. Thank you. I mean, if, if, if this is not a so, – if people are not sold on Trey Lance, I don't know what to say. I mean, he's showing the effort. And that's all. And again, he he's twenty. He's he's leading men. He's twenty. Jimmy's about to be twenty nine. He's still working on that part of maturity, or whatever you want to call it. And that's why I feel like it's not going to happen for Jimmy. These things express themselves young. If you're a natural leader, you you are at twenty. You were at seventeen. This guy's yeah. a natural leader. So I think we got to. I mean. One. I mean, in, in look, I, I wasn't in the military, but the people who are leading platoons in wars are in their early 20s. I mean, they're young men making very important decisions, right? It's not 30 year olds in there. No, it's young men. If they can make those kind of decisions and people on a football team should have those traits expressed at a young age as well. Yeah, so I'm saying so I'm saying I see, I see Trey. I see Trey winning the job by week three of the preseason. Yeah, I, I don't, it's going to go like this. It's going to go OTAs. 
He's not quite ready to compete. He's still learning. And then training camp starts. Wow, he's really blown us away. He's competing. And then he's the quarterback. Yep, because because Jimmy's going to do another preseason where he's going to throw like five picks in the preseason. And, and, yeah. and, and OTAs in training camp. And I'm going to be like, this is what you get. Remember, he's the one that so-called was learning the offense. You throw five picks in one training camp? Practice? Come on, man. It, it five in a row. Sense. Five in a row. Five in a row. That's what I'm saying. And it, it was, was like, in a row. like after two, it was like, man, he's going to throw another pick right here. Boom, interception. It's like, is he going to do it again? Yes. <laughs> it was like, oh, my God, he couldn't be this bad if he tried. Throw it away. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, man. I'm looking forward to it. I don't expect Jimmy Garoppolo to have much uh, fight in him. Doesn't seem like he has much right now. He's given up. Does he want to be here? I think he's given up. I don't think he wants to be here. I think what it is, is he, wants he wants to find a way out. So he's going to do whatever it takes to show that he's doing his job. But at the same time, he knows he's out. And my thing yeah. is, don't play the role. I, I'm always about be honest. Don't play the mm -hmm. role like you really want him, Trey Lance, to be successful. You know he's taking your job. So since yeah. you know, the one thing I liked about Joe Montana and Steve Young was Steve Young was competing with Joe Montana every yeah. time. He was competing. Yes. Like, I want to start. I want to start. So he did yeah. what he had to do to get himself in a position to get a chance to start. Now, Joe didn't like it, but at the same no. time, Joe knew that he was getting older. He had four, he had four Super Bowls under his belt. It was his time to, to pass. So he didn't mind passing the baton to somebody. That's going out gracefully. Jimmy is just being with most. He's being like a prima donna. Like, this was my team, and now everybody's just trading on me. It's like, what did I do? You didn't win a Super Bowl. Yeah. We wouldn't be having yeah, this conversation if you make that throw to Emmanuel Sanders. We right. wouldn't be having this conversation. We wouldn't be talking about you. We'd be like, well, he got a Super Bowl. Steve Young got one Super Bowl. Okay, we'll give you that. But because yeah. you couldn't But he take didn't. It, he missed that throw like Carlton missed the shot in – Fresh Prince. Like it was like yep. a one hand heave that hit the, didn't even hit the backboard. Didn't even hit the backboard. Hit and the scoreboard. Score after it. That's my whole yeah. thing. I could get if you miss a throw and you go to your team like, my bad. That's my fault. Like most quarterbacks do. Russell Wilson does it. Lamar does it. Patty Mahomes does it. He just I mean, was, oh, well, I guess we'll do it again. Revenge tour. What? What grown no, man? Revenge tour. That we're never going to be in that position again, most likely, and you blew it, man. Thank you, Jimmy. He got us to this point. He got yeah. us. A, he got us the quarterback that we we needed to go forth and actually compete for a Super Bowl. That's his and legacy on the Niners. Win. That's his yeah. legacy on the Niners. He got yeah. him in a position to get Trey Lance. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Great to see you, man. All right, man. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I like that week. you got the. I like that you got the matching hat and and uh, and sweatshirt. You're, you're looking yeah, yeah, real yeah. pro. We got, our, we got our clothing together, so we can now. I can now be on the on the on the chat and actually wear our clothing and, and show it off. Make sure you guys subscribe to Niner Empire DMV.